Google announced Android XR as its first operating system with Gemini built into the OS. The first device to support this new operating system is Samsung's XR headset, which will be released in 2025. Known internally as Project Muhan, which means infinity in Korean, this XR headset will be powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR2 Plus Gen 2 processor. This Snapdragon chip means that the headset could have a latency as low as 12 milliseconds. While this chip supports 4K display resolution per eye, Samsung has not yet confirmed whether the headset will support 4K resolution per eye. The Samsung headset supports eye tracking and hand gestures, such as pinch to tap, and could include controllers for gaming. Unlike Apple, with its super heavy unbalanced Vision Pro, Samsung focused on making the headset as light as possible, and they succeeded by making most of the headset out of plastic. However, like Apple's Vision Pro, there is an external battery connected to a wire coming out of the headset. Overall, the hardware is super powerful, but where this headset really shines is with its software. Since Google designed Android XR around Gemini, they believe that Gemini is the killer feature that will lead to the success of Android XR. When you enable Gemini, it is aware of what you are looking at in real life as well as on the virtual screens. For example, you could ask Gemini to show you restaurants with seafood nearby and it will pull up results in Google Maps. You can then click on the immersive view to get a bird's eye view of where the restaurants are. After you choose a restaurant, you can also use Street View to view the area around the restaurant and get familiar with the area before you visit. Just like every other Android product, Android XR will have Circle to Search built in, fully optimized for XR headsets to allow you to easily learn about what you are seeing. Google Photos will be able to convert your photos and videos into a 3D immersive cinematic experience. Google has been optimizing its apps for Android XR, and one app that has been optimized really well is Google TV. On Android XR, you can change your living room into a movie theater with a huge screen with just a click. Unlike the Vision Pro, which does not have a YouTube app, the Android XR will launch with a fully optimized YouTube app. Thanks to YouTube's huge library of 3D videos, you will be able to experience stunning spatial experiences. Google says that because Android XR is running Android, your favorite mobile and tablet apps from Google Play will work right out of the box, with even more apps, games, and immersive content made for XR arriving next year. What are you looking forward to the most about Android XR? Let me know in the comments and subscribe.